Hey fam, we coming back with another quick video, honey. We got Wendy Williams throwing salt on Kim Moore's name. Talking about she don't like candy, girl. You're not her world. She's gonna creep up on you. And she'll try to just erase you. Yes, honey. Wendy Williams says she sees the writing on the wall. Kenya Moore ain't never full of shit. She don't rock with her. She rock with Nene more so. And she just trying to warn Candy and tell her girl cut ties right now. Because Kenya Moore is just like a slithering sna snake that's trying to comfort you. Whatever little throne you have on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's what she's saying, y'all. That's what she's saying. At least, hell, that's what I got out of it. All right. But anyway. We go to another story that's being brought out to us, by the way, of Hollywood life, okay? Gina Lemicelli, or Lemon Silly, or Silly, or something like that, okay? It's Lemon and Silly on it, okay? She titles her article, Wendy Williams declares she's Team Candy after Kenya Moore questions. Why is she still working? Okay, now see, that's what I'm saying. Kenya Moore, she ain't got no friends. She really don't. She don't know what friendship is. And until she evaluates her whole entire being and gets some help from some type of licensed psychologist or psychiatrist no she need to she need a psychiatrist because he's gonna be needing to uh write her a few prescriptions okay for her mood that she's constantly betraying on the show and probably just out in public and she have a nerve to talk about nanny honey <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, I think Nene said she went and got her some medication, okay? She went and balanced her uh, chemical imbalanced out, and now she's balanced, okay? She taking some medication, allegedly. I'm pretty sure, though, I heard that. Because Candy, Candy got it all from what Kenya Moore says from her mouth, not mine. She said it in, out of her mouth, y'all. She said Candy got it all. And in a sense, you would think Candy do have it all. She has a husband that's supportive of her endeavors and he tries to be there like her bodyguard uh like he's pretty much wearing her real clothes like she, he's part of her wardrobe uh he loves his children especially baby ace we haven't seen him interact too much with baby blaze and that's probably because she's a female you know what i'm saying men tend to bond men you know on men even though they says uh uh, uh a father's love or women, a daughter's women, a son to their mother and a daughter to their father. They had some truth to it, but yeah, he, uh, he has a family with Candy. He loves being shown with Candy and the kids and all like that. Can you don't have that? Can you don't have a man? That's two strikes. Uh, can you don't have a family that really loves her on both sides? You know, she has her dad's side. She has a mom's side. I don't know what kind of side Kenya you got because I, I just don't know. You know, I, I don't know because it seems like she got some issues with her dad's side now. And we know she ain't got too much going on on her mama's side. Okay. Uh, Candy has her mother love. Kenya don't have her mother love. Okay. Um, and we just keep continue to go on down the road and Kenya's going to always come up negative. But Kenya can definitely prevail if she get her shit right because right now she might be beautiful on the outside but she is fucked up from the flow up when it comes to her inside and how she feels and how she thinks about others that are seemingly doing better than what she is but when do we see the writing on the wall she said candy girl you better wake up you think nene is your enemy uh-uh that one in that circle wearing that big ass pendant that's the one you need to be watching for girl that's one you need to be watching for and i never thought ne uh wendy would have came out and said no stuff like that but she did yes she did yes she did y'all getting it all from hollywood life get into it but as we go into the article it says wendy williams admittedly didn't tune in to the real housewives of atlanta season 12 finale but she did catch a confessional moment in which kenya questioned why candy works so much despite having everything
Here's what Wendy had to say, girl. Yes, Wendy's putting her two, three cents, four cents, dollar worth in, honey. Okay. She says, can you more rub Wendy Williams or can you more rub Wendy Williams the wrong way with the comments she made during the season 12 finale of The Real Housewives of Atlanta on Sunday, April 19th. While the talk show host 55 didn't watch all the drama go down at Candy's Burris baby shower, she caught Kenya's critique on how Candy lives her life. All right, let's get on into it. Sound messy to me. Let's go for the drama. I only saw one scene, and that one scene was when Kenya was talking to the camera and said that Candy has everything she wants. And why is Candy still working? Oh, now in that shade, in that, that isn't that ooh envious jealousy? The head of a Devil showing y'all. Now, where's my Kenya lovers? Where's my Ken my twirls? My twirls. Okay, can y'all see the writing on the wall? wall? Team twirl. Can you see the writing on the wall? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, um, when it said on April 21st at home show, you know, she's filming from home. Candy is what, 43? She's got to earn money for her and a whole lot of people around her and her children for another 50 years if you're watching the news you'll see people are living until they're 100 years old when they continue you don't start working at 40 years old unless you have the money like michael jordan okay she using as an example she took the time to note that she missed the real housewives of atlanta season 12 finale because she was busy watching the nba legends new ESPN documentary The Last Dance. Ironically, the document the documentary first two episodes also focused on money. You gotta save it right, Wendy said, talking about money. Kenya, I love you, girl, but I was really turned off by you thinking that Candy needs to sit down and not work. Yeah, honey, Wendy, she want her to sit down so she can take her place and gross all that money. Cause she know they on a real nice fitting platform making money and ain't doing nothing but showing their ass pretty much you know what i'm saying just up here talking shit starting shit being shit and they ain't got to do nothing but do that all day long how many episodes they got a tape or whatnot and then they can sit pretty and use some of that money to make other money where they can still sit down and just occasionally make these little meet and greet sessions where they're rubbing heads and, and, and networking and all that stuff with other professionals out in the field okay but it's because of the platform that they're on the real housewives of atlanta that people know them and candy knows she's even said it she ain't going nowhere unless they throw her off because she know what this platform is doing for her livelihood and that's what i gotta give candy she she recognized where her true bread and butter is even though some of her fans and her followers don't understand that concept she does all right and that's all thing that matter but going back to the article it says um Wendy went on to show love to candy and her husband todd tucker i love you todd and your relationship candy i love you i'm team you and todd and your kids she said during the season 12 finale of Real Housewives of Atlanta, Nene Lee's and Kenya got into it and turned Candace baby shower from Hollywood glam to fight night. I know that's right. I would like get them a ring, honey. Get them, get a big ass ring, okay? Get all the lights and cameras you can want in there and put them two in the rain. Gear them up from head to toe so no, you know, they won't get no concussions or nothing like that. And just let them battle it out because it has gotten to the point they can't say no more to each other in my eyes that they ain't already said. It's just refurbished shit, okay? They all both of them pumping up at each other like they gonna do something I ain't gonna do nothing they wait on one person to to slap a hand or slap a face or pull or something so they can say they want to sue but as i've told y'all in a previous video that i did what the housewives can and cannot do if they continue to want to be on that bravo network show they can't sue everything has to be settled out of court so with that said get a damn ring get a ring up there and let them go two or three rounds that's all i'm saying but anyway, going back to the uh, article, it says, um, 
as described by the uh, then pregnant singer. Real Housewives of Atlanta executive producer and Bravo King Andy Cohen recently confirmed that the cast will film a virtual season 12 reunion due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It's unclear when the season 12 reunion would air. Okay, now to tell you proper and man. <laughs> I mean, it ain't like we going nowhere. And it ain't like, you know, the stars or whatnot are bidding to go anywhere because they can't go anywhere. We got this thing called social distance the thing and lord i don't know why they opened atlanta back up we're gonna be the worst hit state other than california trying to survive and going into the fall time with this coronavirus and another virus may spring up that's identical to it. you know i'm just saying it, it's a hot mess but anybody at earshot if you can stay at home continue to stay at home continue to draw your unemployment if that's what you're getting and, and whatnot and be with your families okay because it, it ain't worth it it ain't it, it is ooh, child it ain't worth it but anyway yeah, what do y'all think, honey? Let's talk about this situation, fam. Let's get in them comments. Let's sit and digest what what, what Winnie had said about Kenya. Now, you know, that she spoke truth in that situation. She spoke truth. Kenya always worried about everybody else. She always worried about everybody else's pockets. Now, if you are a multi-million dollar CEO of a brand of hair care products that's doing exceptionally well out there in them streets and in them uh marketing agencies and hell just with the consumers buying your product honey why are you worried even about being on this platform you need to be sitting down in your own office that you got rented or whatever that you go out that you don't want to have it in your home because you want to separate the two boundaries or whatnot go do you leave this platform and go and be great kenya moore because the only thing that we're seeing now is that you're foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, fake, shitty behavior that you constantly give us every time you grace my screen and every time I have to do a story. Can't never come in here and say nothing nice about you because you know why? You're not giving me nothing that I'm seeing on film or on the television screen that i could say well damn can you did that darn thing it's for when you gave me that little chuckle when you call yourself going in there interrupting marlo's little wig event you came up there with that four man marching band <laughs> and that was priceless but then you should have stopped it once you got in there but you continue to go on pass out little trinkets of your hair care products and then you turned out we found out girl you were wearing extensions but i always knew it i just never talked about it but when it came out girl when it came out full force let's get busy one time that you were wearing extensions you'd have left a wig out in Greece with a charger honey anybody had sense would have left that damn um wig there with that charger and replaced it when you got home in the states and that's what I would have did but yeah, of course you need to have a storyline so you had to do what you had to do and you had to come back and drain us with the storyline about Nene calling your baby a buffalo and which we did acknowledge that she did but we know where she was going she was calling you a buffalo but the baby got hit uh by association i guess you would say but nene don't come for the kids she really don't she come for you kenya and while you keep drudging and dragging this shit out she don't like you kenya and you don't like her just stay with the facts <laughs> let's just go with the fact of the matter okay <sighs> but that's all I have for this particular video. Wendy Williams just spoke her mind and I had to concur with her 100% and then something added to that. Because yes, Kenya always looking at everybody else seeing what they doing. She didn't too much care for Porsche even though Porsche got her own set of problems with that man Dennis McKinley. But he always saying what he gonna do. Porsche just gonna have to toe the line. She thinks she got somebody like, uh, she thinks she's being the person that uh, what's his name? Damn. Um, what was it? Cordell Stewart was to her. She thought she gonna do the same thing. What Cordell did to her to Dennis? No, Dennis. I, I, I'm, I'm crazy about you, but I ain't stupid. Okay. So I'm like Dennis. That's right. Put her in check. She ain't wanna act right, you know. And, and it don't seem like she gonna want you to forget that you ever cheated on her. You know, maybe you need to, you know, second guess this thing. Maybe y'all just need to co-parent because she ain't gonna never let you rest. You know, most of the time. Women need to let men go if they're not going to accept and put it in the past of what infraction a person had hurt them. Because that's the whole thing of forgiving. You, especially if you want to be with that person, you got to let it go. You got to let it just slide off your back. Say it's in the ocean. 
It's washed away. We don't had it. We're gonna beat it like a dead horse. We know it's never gonna happen again. Okay, and that's how you have to look at it. But if you can't look at it from that standpoint, a standpoint, you need to let that person go. Cause ain't no sense of dragging that person through mud every time y'all hit another rough patch and you gotta keep bringing it up, keep bringing it up. Cause then you didn't really forgive them. You know what I'm saying? This is what it is. I'm talking from experience, okay? But anyway, that's all I had. My loves, my family. Uh, y'all get down in the comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about this subject matter. Was Wendy right? Y'all know how I feel about it. I've already expressed it. Y'all tell me what y'all feel about it. Is Kenya coming for Candy now? But yet Candy don't see it. Maybe she will. Maybe she'll say something on the reunion uh, side of it. But honey, Kenya Moore is jealous of you, Miss Candy. If you don't wake up, whoo-hoo. Chai gonna be a nice season 13 when you do wake up and maybe Todd had to give you a clue or maybe Don Juan had to say something here maybe Porsche your arch nemesis will have to clue you in because she sure got the hell away from Kenya Moore <laughs> even though all of y'all gonna try to jump in there and say Porsche said this Porsche said that hell y'all all have said some fraudulent things about Nene y'all all have been conspiring against Nene but look where y'all at Cynthia done made up with her Porsche done made up with her uh evil she's just on the fence we don't i'm still trying to figure out why she here bring shamari back or bring phaedra pass back we don't really need evil not really unless she's gonna give us at least one season without being pregnant let us see who eva is i don't really too much want to hear about her um how she called him a sperm donor we don't need to even put that in the um the concept of a storyline idea because that man can't come on the show. He can't give us his two cents in or how he feel or what Eva may have did to him and why he acting so silly out in these streets. And he may have some issues with mental illness. So we don't want to pick fun at him and we don't want to drag the man when he, we got, we know some other things are going on with them out of his control. But Eva, we need to see something else, honey. We need to see that you're going back to school, you're trying to get a degree or you're trying to be an architect, a, a realtor. Uh, shit something you know what I'm saying other than just having babies okay and saying your husband is so handsome and beautiful and I, I mean give me something be a teacher or something do something show me you going to the school uh, have a parent day or something oh girl anyway that's all I had for this video very tiring but I girl that was just an eye freshener idea of a light bulb that Wendy felt that Kenya was once again uh, you know, we know she, you know, pick at Cynthia for the most part. And try to make Cynthia act like she ain't got no sense. And she's an OG herself. She in her fitness. But, you know, Candy got a lot of people to take care of. So she got to work. And I mean, hell ain't like Candy working hard. You know what I'm saying? She ain't in no labor type job. Or, you know, have to put some um, things together, some proposals or whatever. She just tell Don Juan what she want or anybody else. And then they put it together. She hired people to do that. So when you got money, you could do shit like that. You say, I want this, 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 this. I want it to go this, 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 that. Who can who can lay it out for me? Okay, so we can present it to the big people that look professional and well thought out. You know, I'll pitch it to them or whatnot because it's my idea. And y'all just write it up like I wrote it up. <laughs> okay, and that's what we do. Shit. Oh, Lord. But anyway, that's all I got for this video. Y'all get down in them comments. Tell me what y'all thought about subject matter. What about Wendy? What about Candy? What about Kenya? You know, uh, speak your mind. And um, let's, uh, what do you call it, interact that way. Other than that, miss you guys. Uh, still got to do some shout outs. Uh, haven't done that in a while. And I see it's been kind of like backing up. Because I know y'all been watching me. Because I know. Because y'all out there interacting. Uh, with one another so yes i just mean somewhat whew, out of the weather with this pollen and oh getting you know still in transition with my shoulder my rib is feeling a little bit better you know I, sometimes when i br breathe real real deep it kind of hurts a little bit but not like it was at the first part of march oh child but i thank you for all your continued prayers i will continue to uh, pray for each and every one of you all um that's an overcast of love and embrace that the lord never let you out of his uh mercy and grace and y'all be well okay and, and and think smart when it comes to this coronavirus type situation don't go out there just because they opening up the gates for y'all to go back out there and possibly get infected think before you go out and do things like you used to do 
It's time and a place to do everything. Right now, this is not the time. They have no antidote out there. They have no type of uh, security blanket, very few masks, you know, very few protective personal uh, equipment items that you can get your hands on without them gorging the prices. So just be village, vis, uh, vigilant and, and, and do your due diligence and stay safe. Okay, guys, love you all. And I'll see you on the next video.